हेलो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क्स वेरी बेसिक टॉपिक दैट इज नेटवर्क मॉडल्स इन कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क्स द मोस्ट बेसिक मॉडल व्हिच इज कंसीडर्ड इज एज ओ एस आई मॉडल एंड इट इज हैविंग सेवन लेयर्स एज यू कैन सी इन द डायग्राम सो देर आर सेवन लेयर्स फर्स्ट लेयर इज फिजिकल लेयर सेकेंड वन इज डेटा लिंक लेयर नेटवर्क लेयर देन ट्रांसपोर्ट लेयर सेशन प्रेजेंटेशन एंड एप्लीकेशन दीज आर द सेवन लेयर्स विच आर प्रेजेंट एट बोथ द साइड एट द सेंटर साइड एज वेल एज द रिसीवर साइड एंड वेन एवर द डेटा इज पास फ्रॉम सेंडर टू द रिसीवर द डेटा पासिस थ्रू ईच एंड एवरी लेयर एट बोथ सेंडर एज वेल एज receiver so this is the main uh, basic uh, thing in uh, computer networks so these are the interaction uh, between the layers of osi model uh, here the first uh, the first three uh, they are not peer to peer and the next four one are the last four one they are the uh, peer to peer which are directly connected to uh, each other the layer number 4th 5th 6th and 7th okay so uh, next is uh, how the data is exchanged uh, in the osi model so at the sender side this is the sender side and at the sender side uh, the uh, header is attached at each and every level so this is the user and you this is the first thing where the user sends the data to the first layer that is the last layer which is called as application layer and this application layer receives the data from the uh, sender and uh, passes it to the next and next and next and next layer till it goes to the last that is the physical layer and every time when it passes to the next layer it goes on adding the header at the receiver side the header at each and every uh, layer is removed when it will come to the physical layer it will remove the header then it will go to the next layer it will remove the header and so on so uh, at the last that is the application layer here the data uh, will be uh, getting received by the receiver computer so next is the physical layer how it actually works the physical layer takes the data from the data link layer at the sender side it add, adds the header and then it goes to the phys some physical channel that is the transmission medium and then it is received by the data link layer the physical layer uh, has the following responsibilities like uh, it has uh, the interfaces for the medium then it represents uh, the data in the form of bits it uh, uh, checks the data rate synchronization of bit line configuration physical topology and transmission mode these are the uh, responsibilities of uh, the physical layer in the osi model uh, next is the data link layer it gets the data from the network layer it uh, and it gives the data to the physical layer it sends the data to the physical layer it adds the header and the frame here the data is actually converted into the frames and at the uh, receiver layer it gets from the physical layer and it transfers it to the network layer uh, these are the responsibilities uh, framing framing of the data physical addressing flow control error control and access control these are the main responsibilities of data link layer uh, next is uh, this is the hop to hop delivery that means each and every uh, system uh, it is getting uh, the a uh, data in the form of frames and it is done uh, by the data link layer next third one is network layer and in the network layer header is added it gets the data from the transport layer and it sends the data to the it sends the data to the uh, data link layer next it uh, gives at the sender side it sends the data to the it sends the data to the uh, transport layer and here it does uh, the packetizing of the data the packets are created uh, by the uh, network layer and next is uh, the responsibilities uh, responsibilities are uh, logical addressing and routing source to destination de delivery so this is done in the computer uh, sorry uh, it is done in the network layer transport layer in the transport layer the data is uh, taken from the uh, session layer and it is transferred to the network layer here the data is converted into the segments uh, at the receiver side the segments are given to the session layer these are the responsibilities service point addressing segmentation connection control flow control and error control uh and uh, the transport layer is uh, responsible for um, a reliable process to process delivery the process at the sender side delivers a uh, the uh, message to the process at the receiver side uh, next is the session layer in session layer the data is received from the presentation layer and it is given to the transportation uh, transport layer at the sender side and at the receiver receiver side it is, it is done vice versa these are the responsibilities that is dialog control and synchronization 
next is presentation layer in presentation layer the data is uh, obtained from the application layer and it is sent to the session layer at the sender side and uh, in the uh, receiver side the session is op session layer gives the data to the presentation layer and presentation layer passes the data to the application layer the responsibilities of the uh, presentation layer are translation encryption and compression Uh, last is the application layer which is the seventh layer which is the topmost layer it has the huge responsibility of accepting the data uh, uh, from the uh, user as well as giving the final data to the uh, receiver so here the user gives some um, uh, program uh, to the uh, uh, layer and it will give that uh, to the presentation layer and after uh, it it is getting received by at the receiver side it uh, gives the same program or the message to the user these are the responsibilities network virtual terminal it acts as a network virtual ter terminal it does file transfer it gives mail services and directory services uh this is the uh, summary of all the layers where physical layer uh, it Uh, gives uh, the transmits the bits the data link layer it converts the bits into frames network layer it uh, converts the frames into packets transport layer it is responsible for process to process delivery session layer it is uh, managing uh, all the sessions presentation layer it uh, translate encrypts as well as uh, compress the data and application layer which is actually allowing the access to the network resources thank you